And this is Sarah Threadster, NurseRN.com, and in this video, I want to give you some tips on how to communicate with doctors as a new nurse or nursing student. As a new nurse or nursing student, it can be really nerve-wracking at first when you're communicating with a doctor, because a lot of times you know that a patient needs something. You know something's wrong with them, but you don't know exactly what to ask for. So you may feel like you can't get those right words when asking the physician for something or you're afraid of those questions that may pop up whenever you're conversing with the doctor and you may feel afraid of not knowing the answer to them and then you start to stumble over your words and make a mess of things. So as the nurse, you are the patient's advocate. So you really want to develop your communication skills when communicating with a doctor. So tip number one, you want to practice, practice, practice. Don't let the first time that you speak to a doctor about a patient patient B whenever you're out of orientation on your own. As a nursing student, you want to use your clinical time as practice time to start communicating with the doctor and not leave that task up to your preceptor. So what you want to do is you want to take your preceptor aside and you want to say, you know, whenever the physician makes the rounds, can I be the one that talks to them about our patient? Or whenever we need to call the physician, can I be the one that calls them? Another thing you'll want to do is you'll want to observe your preceptor and how they communicate with the doctor. See how your preceptor formulates their response to their questions or how they explain to the physician what's going on with your patient. And one of the easiest ways I have found when communicating with physicians at first, whenever you're new, is just to jump in there and do it. Because remember, you're gonna have your preceptor right there. They're gonna be able to jump in and help help you if your mind goes blank and you don't know how to answer a certain question and later on down the line you're not going to have them there. So doing this you're going to learn how the communication flows, questions that tend to come up and it's just really going to help you. So if you are a nursing student really take time to make this a priority during your clinicals and how you can communicate with the physician. Tip number two, be prepared. So before calling the doctor about your patient or speaking to them during rounds, you wanna be prepared. And you wanna be prepared by actually jotting down some information about your patient because you're gonna have more than one patient and it can be easy to get them confused, especially if you have patients who are similar in age and they're admitted for the same reasons. And you don't wanna give them incorrect information about another patient whenever you need to be talking to them about this patient. So some things you want to write down and you can write this down on your report sheet, keep it in your pocket so you can easily access it while talking to them. Of course, the patient's name and the room number and why you are calling them or needing to speak to them about the patient. And just in case some questions come up, you want this information handy, like the patient's health history, um, their basic labs like CBC, their clotting levels like PT, INR, BMP, their renal function like BUN and creatinine. And if this is a cardiac patient, you need to know their cardiac enzymes like troponins and a D-dimer. And of course, anything that's abnormal. And the recent vital signs, their heart rhythm, if you know that, and medications they're on, especially if you're gonna be calling them about the cardiac system because say your patient's heart rate was running in the 130s, physician's probably gonna ask you, are they on anything for it? Like beta blockers or anything like that. And you need to be able to communicate and know if your patient's on that. And another important thing, are there allergies? Because you don't want to get an order over the phone for a medication and it turns out your patient's allergic to it. Then you have to call the physician back and say, patient can't take this, they're allergic to it. So those are just some things that you want to make sure that you know. Tip number three, know who you are dealing with. Doctors are just like every other coworker. They all possess their different quirks. Some are gonna be really friendly and are willing to answer your questions. They're very patient and they're gonna offer you explanation about what's going on with your patient. However, on the other hand, you may experience some that are impatient, they're rude, 
they're cranky and they just want to get in there, see the patient and get out and they don't really want to communicate with you. So as a nurse who's new or the nursing student, you're not going to really know at first the quirks of these physicians. So you want to ask fellow nurses, a clerical, if your unit has one, how to communicate with the physician and some tips on how to handle them. And as a nursing student or a new nurse, if you do encounter that occasional cranky doctor, don't let it affect you. Shrug it off and just go on about it because you know you're going to encounter cranky nurses and cranky nursing aides and things like that and you just have to shrug it off and keep going because you are the patient's voice, you're their advocate and you need to communicate with these physicians even though sometimes it can be a little bit hard. Tip number four, be confident, stand your ground, but be respectful. When communicating with a doctor, don't be scared or timid. Like don't look at the floor whenever you're talking to them, if you're talking in person, or whisper what you need. You want to appear confident by looking them in the face and speaking audibly where they can hear it. Because if the physician can sense that you're unsure of yourself, a lot of times, especially if they're the rude, cranky ones, they will test you and they will push you around. And you don't want that to happen because you know your stuff, you know how to take care of this patient and you want to convey that to the doctor that they can trust you and you know what you're doing. So say that your patient needs something. What you want to do is you want to be direct and you don't want to beat around the bush. You need to know, the physician needs to know exactly what you need and what you're calling for. So for example, say that your patient has shortness of breath and they're wheezing and you think that they would benefit from a breathing treatment. So what you can do is you can call the physician and tell them about your patient, what's going on and recommend, you know, I think the patient would benefit from a breathing treatment. And there you are, you're stating what the, that you think that the patient may need and if the physician agrees with you they can order that. Now let's suppose you receive an order from a physician and something just doesn't seem right and you need to really talk to that physician and make sure that this is what they meant to order because as a nurse you will encounter situations like that. For instance, I had a patient who wasn't doing very well and they weren't eating, they weren't able to take any thing down and the physician ordered a nasogastric tube insertion on them. But the patient had critically low platelets, like they were very low. And this physician, it was during the weekend and they weren't totally familiar with the patient's case, so they were just filling in and I get this order and I know that those platelets are really low and I'm thinking to myself, okay, Inserting an NG tube that goes in through the nose, down through the throat until it gets into the stomach. It's pretty invasive and you can have a little bit of bleeding with that. Well, if we insert this tube with these platelets being so low, if we nick something, scrape something, this patient bleeds, they can bleed out because they just don't have those platelets there to act like a band-aid and stop that bleeding. So call the physician and let them know. I said, I see that you ordered an NG tube on this patient. However, their recent lab work, their platelets showed this, it's critically low. And I just wanted to verify that you still wanted to proceed with this. And of course the physician said, no, I wasn't aware of that and the order was canceled. So when you receive an order and something just doesn't seem right, your nursing intuition's telling you, hey, I don't know about this. You know, it's okay to call the physician and ask them about it, but you wanna be professional about it and tactful and you don't wanna come across like you're putting them down or that they're not intelligent or something like that. You want to present in a professional way. Tip number five, build rapport with your physician. Now this can really go a long way. So you want to take time throughout your day if you see a physician rounding or a resident that you take time to smile and say hi how are you doing acknowledge their presence just like how you would with a fellow nurse that you're working the floor with and if you do have those grumpy doctors you should even take time on a daily basis to say hello to them because over time you're going to see that they may soften up to you and start talking and appear less grumpy over time so don't just ignore the physicians when they come to the floor. A lot of times I've seen on floors where when the physicians start rounding, all of a sudden it's like an exodus. The nurses leave and part and go in the 
patient's room, they're busy, they don't really even acknowledge the physicians that are on the unit. And um, this isn't good because physicians, they can sense when they're not really wanted or liked on the floor. And you really wanna build those relationships in that report because when you do that, the physician's going to, you're gonna notice they're gonna be quicker to return your phone calls, to answer your questions, and when you need them in those code blue rapid response situations, they're gonna be faster to come to your side to help you with that patient. So always take time to smile and say hi and build relationships. So those are some tips on how to communicate with doctors as a new nurse or nursing student. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.